Alrighty, let's play this in full. It's not super long, but there is sound. I love you. I've loved you since I met you. All right, that is it. Um, and you are mentioning in your email that you haven't touched the hands much. You will add more subtle stuff later on. That's okay. You already have some subtleties in here. That's totally fine. And it's a rough outline, first pass blocking to show you the ideas. So my observations and somewhat questions would be, a, the tricky thing is, so uh, that's for anybody who does, um, you know, rough blocking up. You're always very, very careful. Do not have something where an arm is here and over one frame there. That's one of those, one of those pitfalls in step. But this is going to take a lot more time. So if you once you spline this out, this arm is going to go back, and probably by the time she goes up here, then it will be done and settled there. Just to swatch out that that you have a, a more accurate outline of how long a move is going to take, because it might be problematic later on. I think for the rest of the shot, it's, it's okay. Um, that being said, I would actually not do this subjectively. Only this to me seems more pensive thinking or even potentially bored trying to play with, trying to play with something. And then suddenly you go into... I love you. Into this into this phase. I don't quite see the leap or it's not seeing the leap, but to me, it's a big leap going from kind of sad and am I kind of bored? Am I just, I don't know what's going on to, ah, to this. This is like, there's a crab in the back that pinch her in the butt cheek and she goes, ah, that hurts. But then, you know, these two together don't quite fit for me. So to me, it's almost like he could like, you would start here. Even a more freaked out and worried and or, you know, something where someone is thinking about something, face pose. Plus that, that to me doesn't quite work, subjectively. So personally, I would just be more in this thing where she has that face and that would have darts. She's looking and she's processing. She's processing what she's about to tell him and she's just so in love with him and this is consuming her mind as opposed to... Um, you know, as opposed to playing around with this. Other than that, I think the rest worked. I just be careful with this. This seems like a really long neck. I'm not sure if that's just part of the rig. Like this, this seems pretty bananas. Um, so watch out that you're not breaking the rig. And for the rest, I'm okay. Although I am. It's a tricky thing. I was tempted to say, well, let's let's put her more here in the more traditional in my horrible drawings, as usual, of thirds. <laughs> um, but then if you have her here and her arm is here, it's going to be a really long arm with the other guy or you're going to have to show it. Um, so I think I understand why your position is here. But at the same time, I'm not super bothered by it. I mean, she's very centered. She's even a bit off centered, but why not? It's not a crazy thing. And it would reveal more on, on screen right. So to me, the biggest things when I was watching them was I don't quite careful with this. This move is going to take much, much longer. This seems more bored, almost sad, bored, playing with something. And then suddenly a completely different mood. Um, so, but it's up to you. I don't know if you want to do something a bit more crazy where it's a bit more frantic, tapping and almost kind of, you know, balancing the, I don't know, maybe something just a bit more where you have this with less pensive and less... Um, what is she doing here, right? She's kind of scratching it where it's a bit more, you know, wide-eyed and tapping impatiently. Like she, again, she's she's so consumed with her thoughts, all that energy comes out into her finger, and then it's, she explodes into ah, into this. Or, like I said, you just cut the whole beginning and you just start like this. This is your beginning, and already mouth open, and she's darting and looking and processing, and then I love you, and then this. But that's just me. I've loved you since I met you. That being said, right, if that's just the shot and that's uh, what you want to do, let's pretend that you're cutting off the beginning. Not that the beginning is totally different here. The main thing that I'm seeing is this. This character is always like that, right? Body here, head here. You can scrub. You can scrub. You can draw, <laughs> take the capture window like me and draw it over. I was going to scrub here, right? You can scrub and you can see how the character is always in place. I'm always in big favor of a bit more contrasting poses. Can she go somewhere, right? Meaning... Love you. 
like I love you and then I've loved you since I met you so this is one statement I love you and this is now really reinforcing this hey man ever since I met you I love you now this could be yesterday or this could be 20 years or 40 I don't know I don't know how you know it's grayish hair but she looks kind of young so that's kind of up to you also to decide is this something that he doesn't understand off screen it's whatever you know story you want to put into this character is does, does she love him forever all those years or since the first day yesterday but is there something where we can i'm thinking out loud again not that you have to do it what if she is not that she has to sit more relaxed what if she's back there and she has her hand together and, she, and finger tapping same ideas with the finger here but she's kind of taps but she sits leaning against the chair and then she kind of sits up straight to go, I love you. So it's not this lean already forward, it's forward. So she starts a bit leaning against the chair, then goes for up straight, hands a bit more straight here. I mean, again, that's a crappy pose, but I'm just saying. Then she goes, I love you. And then she leans forward because she wants to reach the hand. Says, I loved you forever. So now your, your body goes from here to here. It might just be more interesting instead of that constant pose um, that we have through here that doesn't quite change. And it might reinforce, you know, her love for him where, again, like I said, she starts back here and then she really, really wants to tell him this and, and by that she leans forward and she wants to be closer to him within his personal space and so on and so on. Or, I mean, you can also, let's pretend she is, I don't know, it's a bit tricky. Again, I'm thinking out loud, don't have to do it, where she might not be back here but she is straighter up here he's she's already holding his hand or again thinking out a lot like process stuff so head here she's a bit straighter hand here and then she goes i love you during i love you she's already grabbing this right so she's straight like here leans forward hand grabs this i love you but given that she's a bit a bit ah like this like, ah, oh she's a bit high here that's a really tall guy just watch out for your eye line um so what if she's really really too much into this person so she would start like i said saying i love you holding this and then i've loved you since i met you when she says that you go a step further doing the same as i said before where you want to advance the body but now imagine she holds this and now this other hand goes forward and starts holding this and she pulls his arm forward now it might be tricky you might actually start introducing part of the body this is again me thinking out loud causing problems but what if you want to make this potentially more comedic where again like i said she straight holds the arm i love you and then pulls that arm towards her and then holds the rest of the arm and it's just it's almost like she wants to really hold on to that arm saying i've loved you since i met you so there there are multiple ways to exaggerate this right that's or or um what's the word to escalate i would like the word the, the word escalate so to me generally i'm looking for something where you have contrast you start somewhere you go somewhere also visually kind of reinforcing how she f feels more strongly about the whole thing and again this could be just simple in terms of what you have here and just that's it or more with two arms or this and then he pulls away she realizes wait wait wait, wait, wait. i'm not making myself clear because he's clearly pulling away he doesn't quite understand how much i love him and then she says loved you since i met you and maybe that is then more arms out and she's more desperate because he pulled his arm away and so on and so on so i think lots of options um where we could push this a bit further and again it's up to you you want to make this a bit more dramatic more more um comedic totally up to you but that's it other than that um these are my my bigger thoughts and my bigger questions before we go into uh you know more details i think generally the animation is already there uh i'm not worried about your animation you know you, you're blocking it's just i have more idea thoughts and uh, idea questions for you all right that's it for me, thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.